Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is all about the properties and volume of prisms. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So these are the given solid figures. We have cube, rectangular prism, and triangular prism. And we're told to find the number of faces, the number of edges, the number of vertices, as well as the volume. So this will be the illustration class for the cube. And we're told to find the volume, rectangular prism, and triangular prism. Alright, so let's start with the cube. So let's draw another cube and let's determine the number of faces, edges, and then vertices. Alright, so let's draw another cube. Of course, class, when you draw a cube, the first step, you draw a square. Alright, so let's draw a square. So once again, class, you do it step by step. You draw a square. Alright, so I do pause class, for my drawing. So draw a square. And then you draw this line. Alright, and then you connect these lines for us to form a cube. So this one right here, this one, this one, and this one. Alright, so we already have our cube. So let's count the number of faces. So we have one, this one right here, class. First face, we have one. So once again, this one right here, class, the number of faces. So one, two, this one right here. Okay, this one, so two. Upper part, 3. Bottom part, the base, 4. And then at the back, 5. And then in front, there would be 6. So therefore, we have 6 faces. So 6 faces for the cube. Alright, so let's count the number of edges. So we have 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. So therefore, we have 12 edges. Alright, so let's count the number of vertices. So we have 1, this one right here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. So we have 8 vertices all right so we have six faces so let's write it here six faces we have 12 edges and then eight vertices all right so all set for the cube so last one we find the volume all right and then this is the illustration to find the volume now to find the volume of the cube the formula so volume of the cube the formula that would be S cubed. Once again, plus S cubed, it doesn't mean S times 3. It means S times S times S. You multiply this equation by itself thrice. So our given side, that is 5 inches. So that would be volume of cube is equal to 5 raised to the power of 3. Once again, plus 5 raised to the power of 3. It doesn't mean 5 times 3. It means 5 times 5 times 5. So once again, guys, do not forget the units. We have inches. So this will be 5 inches and then quantity raised to the power of 3. So once again, guys, it doesn't mean 5 times 3. It means 5 times 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 times 5, that would be 125. And then inches times inches times inches. If they have the same base, copy inches. And then add the exponent. Understood that there's one here, 1, 1, 1. So simply add the exponent 1 plus 1 plus 1. So therefore, there would be cubic inches or inches raised to the power of 3. Once again, because if they have the same base, same inches, copy inches, and then add the exponent 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3. So that would be cubic inches. That's it, plus the volume of this cube given 5 inches for the side. That would be 125 cubic inches. Alright. So 125 cubic inches and we're all set for the cube all right so let's proceed to rectangular prism so first thing to do when you draw rectangular prism you draw a rectangle okay first step you draw a rectangle all right once again because i apologize for my illustration you can reuse a ruler class to draw a rectangular prism so let me just write the rectangle directly let me just draw the rectangle directly all right so we have a rectangle then you draw this line, alright, 
same with the cube class a while ago. You draw four lines, this one right here, and then this one, and then we connect. Okay, once again, you do it step by step, you do it slowly. Alright, so this one. Alright, so this will be our rectangular prism. Alright, so this will be our rectangular prism. And then, we count the number of faces. So this one, right side, we have number 1. This one right here, class. So 1. Alright, so this is 1 and then 2. This one right here. At the top, 3. At the bottom, this one right here at the base, 4. And then at the back, 5. And then in front, there will be 6. So therefore, we have 6 faces. So I hope it's clear for you, class. Once again, 1 at the right side, left part, 2. At the top, 3. Bottom, 4. At the back, this one right here, class. Back, 5. And then at front, there will be 6. 6 faces. So let's count the number of edges. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same with the cube. 12 edges. Alright, and then the number of vertices. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So that would be 8 vertices. Same. Okay, same with the cube. 8 vertices. And then to find the volume, so once again, just to find the volume, so this will be our given illustration. So to find the volume, let me just write the illustration because the given. So we have 10 for the length, the width is 5, and then the height is 7 centimeters. Alright, so to find the volume because the formula, so volume of rectangular prism is equal to length, times width times height. So once again, plus volume of rectangular prism, there will be length times width times height. So the length is 10, so there will be 10 centimeters multiplied by 5 centimeters. We don't have enough space, so this will be... So volume of rectangular prism, I will just write it here, class, we don't have enough space. So that would be length, that's 10, 10 centimeter for the length. The width, that is 5 centimeter. And then for the height, that is 7 cm. And then simply multiply this. Use your calculator. So 10 times 5 times 7. The answer is 350. Then centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. So once again, centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. Same base, same units. Copy the unit, centimeter. And then simply add the exponent. Understood that there's one here. So 1 plus 1 plus 1. That would be 3. So that would be cubic centimeter. That's it, plus. That's the answer for number 2. So we already have the faces, the edges, the vertices, and the volume. All set for number 2. Alright, so faces 6, and then edges, same, 12, and then vertices, that's 8, and the volume, that's 350 cubic centimeter. And this will be the illustration, plus. And the volume for this one, rectangular prism, that's 350 cubic centimeter. And the volume for the cube, that would be 125 cubic inches. All set for rectangular prism. Alright, so let's proceed now to triangular prism. So let's draw this one, triangular prism, for us to determine the number of faces, edges, and then vertices. Alright, so first thing to do, class, you draw a triangle. So draw a triangle, class. Alright, so let's draw a triangle. And then you draw this line. Alright. And then draw another line parallel to this line. Alright. And then you draw this line connecting to this line. Alright. And then you draw this line. That's it, class. Alright. This will be our triangular prism. And then let's count the number of faces. So this one. In front, so 1. Alright, at the back, that's 2. And then left side, this one right here, class, this one. Okay, 3. And then in front, this one right here, class, 4. 
Okay, in front and then at the bottom part, the base, there would be five. So I hope it's clear for you guys with this one. Once again, in front, the triangle, face one, that's one. At the back, two. And then left side, three. And then at the right, in front, four. And then at the bottom part, there would be five. So therefore, we have five faces. Alright, so for triangular prism, there would be five faces. Let's count the number of edges. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. So we have nine edges. And let's count the number of vertices. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So the number of vertices, that would be six. So the answer is six vertices. All right, and to find the volume of this triangular prism, the formula that would be volume of triangular prism is equal to one half base times height times the length. Once again, that's base length times height times the length. So let me just explain this one class on how to find the volume. So volume is equal to one half, and this will be our illustration class. Once again, let me just write the illustration given. So height is eight. So this one is eight meters, and then base length that is six meters, and then the length from this one to this one that is twelve meters. So that will be the length between triangular bases that is twelve meters. Once again, class. This B right here represents for the base length of this triangle, that would be 6 meters. And then H will be the height. Okay, once again, plus H will be the height. That would be 8 meters. And then this length plus this 12 meters, that would be the length between triangular bases. So that would be 1 half, then our base is 6, 6 meters, times the height, that's 8 meters. And then the length, that would be 12 meters. Alright, so the volume will be, simply multiply this one, use your calculator. So that would be 6 times 8 times 12. The answer is 576. And then meters times meters times meters, that would be cubic meters. And then do not forget, let's divide 2. Once again, you can put over 1 here, that's okay. Because understood that any number, there is a denominator of 1. So you can put over 1. So, 2 times 1 times 1 times 1, that's still 2. So, you can simply copy 2 or you can put over 1 and then you multiply because you will have the same answer, 2. So, 2 times 1, that's 2 times 1, that's 2 times 1, that's 2. So, 576 cubic meters divided by 2. Divide 2. Okay, divide 2. And the answer is volume is equal to 288 cubic meters. That's it, plus You're all set. Okay, so let's write the number of faces. So faces, there would be 5. Number of faces, edges, there would be 9. And then vertices, there would be 6. And the volume, there would be 288 cubic meters. All set plus. Alright, so all set plus. That's how you write the number of faces, edges, vertices, and the volume. So once again, class, I hope you learned something new today. If you have some questions, class, once again, class, if you have some questions, do not hesitate to ask. You put your question on the comment section down below. Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.